Yo, uh, normally don't do vlogs and stuff like that, but this is a little bit different. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the Demon Slayer movie is now in theaters for everybody to go see. Uh, I guess go at your own discretion because panoramic's still not over. So, you know what I'm saying? But hold on, look at the view real quick. I never showed y'all my new place yet. Soon, when I finish decorating it, but not yet. So anyways, I'm gonna go watch it and then I'm gonna go review it. Yeah. I'm at the movie theaters and I'm waiting for Afro and of course he's late per usual. You know, I'm starting to believe the meme that you guys got going around. Don't believe his lies. <laughs> I'm really excited to see this Demon Slayer movie. If it's anything like the My Hero movie, I really, really enjoyed the My Hero movie a lot. I like the Demon Slayer anime too, to a degree. I feel like it was overhyped just a little bit but I still enjoyed it a lot. My favorite character is Inosuke. I do have an Inosuke mask at home and I do wear him quite often on streams and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that Inosuke gets a lot of screen time in this movie. That's what I'm looking forward to. But anyways, let's go ahead and head on in there. Yeah, yeah. I gotta clean my camera. I'm like, I'm like, just a little bit, not, not too late, relax. Uh, this is my first time going to the movie theater in Miami. That's where I live now. So I don't necessarily know where it is in this gigantic theater <laughs> or uh, mall. Movie starts at four. It's I'm gonna be there at like 3.51. So I'm we missing some, I think. I, unless I can maybe pull this off. More than anything though, like I, I'm excited to see a Demon Slayer movie, sure. But I, I'm more so excited just to go to the theater. like. It's, it's been closed for a year and some change and I just forgot what it's like to just go out Go see a movie in a theater, you know what I'm saying? Regardless, my expectations are unfortunately too too high for this movie Everybody who I've talked to said it's a 10 out of 10 Absolutely insane, bro. So I'm the type of person that gets overhyped for a thing Like someone can overhype me on something very easily Like if I see you walk out of something and you're screaming of excitement Then I am going to expect the same. I'm very uh What's the word? Uh, is a word for that. Impressionable. I'm very impressionable that way. To people who own a car, what do you have on your screen? Like, cause you can adjust that in most cars, right? Your display. What do you usually have visible? The reason why I have my tires, <laughs> this is gonna sound kind of weird, but bro, once you've been in an accident, you have a little bit of PTSD. I was on the freeway and randomly my tire just like popped. And I don't know, I just saw like my tire, like the display popped on automatically when my tire popped and I saw the display like depleting down as if I was in like a TIE fighter or something. And it scared me, bro. I thought I was going to flip. I thought something was going to happen. It was in the middle of like semi-traffic people going at like 70 miles per hour. I saw my life flash before my eyes and I was fine. But yeah, PTSD keeps me having to display on my screen at all times. Have y'all ever been to this mall before? If you live in Florida, what you think of it? This is my second time over here. Got my glasses over here actually. One of the first things I did when I moved. <laughs> That's crazy how you late, low key. I've been waiting for a long time. Shut up, I was in the car. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I was a little bit late, so I don't have any footage of like sitting down in the theater, but I have footage after, of course, it's a review. Why am I so black right now? Hold on. You need to go in the sun. Oh, this way, hold on. <laughs> what the difference? I told you. Like in one sentence, if you could describe the movie. <sighs> it was epic. A another sentence. <laughs> It was uh, it was not what I expected. I it was okay. a lot better than what I expected. Okay, okay, okay. First and foremost, the plot was very interesting. The pacing of the plot in itself, you could very easily see how this was something that would be more akin to being on Crunchyroll. Like it was interesting. It was like I was watching how the anime would play in a whole entire arc back to back to back to back. Several times I was watching the movie in my head, I would just think, okay, they would play the ending here. This is a whole new episode, you know, like what, six or seven episodes mangled together. <laughs> if you were to put this in an anime, and I say that because if you didn't know, um, this whole movie is canon to the story. I don't know how they're gonna do it when the anime comes back, but if you don't watch this movie and they don't adapt this movie in their own way in the anime, you're gonna come back spoiled, <laughs> confused, and a whole lot of other things. You have to watch this movie one way or another if you want to follow along with the story and the chronological order of how things happen. With the plot itself and how it was delivered, it didn't feel like it was being done in a movie way per se. It just felt like Demon Slayer doing what Demon Slayer does. And that is really good. Now, 
it's interesting too because I, in my opinion, I think Demon Slayer has always been animated to to the top tenth degree, right? But usually, when you see something animated in the movie theater, there's like a movie level quality that you're then just like, okay, this is a movie anime. I felt like we didn't get that towards the later half, and that's not a negative thing at all whatsoever, right? But I say that as you're really gonna feel like you're watching the anime just from frame one onward. I think the one thing that I was able to tell that was a little bit uh, done up was the sound. The sound direction with the sound effects, everything Ren Goku did sounded magnificent, bro. If you're not watching this in IMAX, which unfortunately I didn't, but I know I know how good IMAX just oops, the, the sound quality of anime movies and movies in general, you're doing yourself a little bit of a disservice. But if you can't, you can't. You're still gonna enjoy it all the same, but the sound direction was amazing. That's one thing that I say was just 10 out of 10 top, Bro, it's here. The one negative that I could give the movie, uh, well, it's, it's not a negative per se, but it's things that I can see people not liking. Um, the humor, if, you, if you've if you seen Demon Slayer's humor, it's a certain type. It might come off as corny. Some people might look at it a little bit more hyper-focused because it's on the big screen, whichever. Um, the pacing, though. Now, I, I like the pacing personally. Demon Slayer has always been known for fast-paced, you know, things. Like, things just happen very quickly <laughs> and this movie is no different to that but because we essentially watched like a whole you're watching a whole arc take place on screen like some of the plot twists are gonna they, they might come off random to some and i can see that and no i'm not gonna agree but i can see how someone could call certain aspects of this random like towards the later half for sure like like dudes just appear just boom so the pacing can come off a bit jarring with how fast it is. Don't think that means I'm saying it was bad. It was an experience for sure. Like the action was great. The sentimental shit was great. If you're really attached to a lot of the cast, the main cast, the, the, the trio, right? You are probably going to cry. They try very hard to make you cry. It's very emotional a lot of times. Like it felt like towards the end for sure, they were comboing me. Like after I took a breath, of like, okay, well, now we get the happy bit. No, nigga, sad. It just kept on happening. And it was great. Like, it didn't make me cry, but it, it, it made Tasha cry. And a few other people, I heard the sniffling. And I, it, I, I, could, I could see if I was a little bit more attached to the main cast, then I probably would have shed a tear or two. But for me, I was just watching it for what it was. The ending fight, bro, was fantastic. It made me very sad that I didn't watch this in IMAX. The animation was as if, God came through with pepper flakes on a pizza, my boy, with a little bit of Parmesan in the pepper flakes and salt bait it. Like you might not like it. So whatever your topping of choice on a pizza you like, if you're vegan, whatever, some grass, my nigga. Like it was sprinkled in such a magnificent way. Like the animation was good, but then the sound effects, the emotional bits, the, and then go back into the fight. It was great. It was great. It was, it was an experience bar none. I liked it, but even with that being said, um, for me, as a lot of people have been saying it was 10 out of 10, perfect, da 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 da. I feel like it will only be that if you truly were able to connect and really fall in love with this cast, right? For me, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've mainly watched Demon Slayer for the animated porn. <laughs> like, it looks really good. I like the fights. You know some of the sad bits and the the character development's good, yeah, but it's it, it doesn't it doesn't sit with me too well. I can't put myself in a manner to really love these characters, and I don't think that's going to change too much. But regardless, it was still amazingly delivered, et cetera, et cetera. The verdict that I would give this, I would rate this like an eight out of ten, seven out of ten, somewhere in that verdict. Now, if I was more attached to certain characters, it'd probably be a nine or a ten. I know for Tasha. It was a nine out of 10. I'll, I'll get her opinion in a second too, but you know, it, it was, it was great. It was great. It was a rush. I loved it. And I'm going to try to see it one more time before it gets out of theaters. Ultimately, this was really great. That was my take. Yeah. What'd you think? Um, my background looks trash. I'm sorry. Go on. I think that, I think that it was a really good movie. The pacing was very fast. Why are you so close? I'm not trying to. You want to hold it? <laughs> I think that the pacing. I don't need to be in it. It's you. What you talk about? Yeah, okay. Wait. Talk to him. <laughs> I think that the pacing was very fast. 
but I did like all of the animations, even the very like very corny, silly ones were really cute. There was some girl in the theater and she was giggling at everything. She, she was laughing. Oh at my <laughs> god! I was like, I feel like one of them angry black women. Like, it better be that funny. <laughs> it better be that damn funny. <laughs> but it was all around to me. It was like a nine out of ten. I really like how they showed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that's spoiler free? What? Finish. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say I I like how it intertwined. It was very quickly paced, but I still think it was all around solid. I think that more anime should do movies to shorten their shows. Yeah, that is kind of true. I do see value in that. Yeah, because their shows be too long. Um. But yeah, I really, I really enjoyed it a lot. And I just want to say, Rengoku to the moon. To the moon. To the moon. Not this Goku. <laughs>